it's a joy to welcome everyone, especially the young families and families with children. A good number of us have been parents, but it happens that as we grow older and older, we probably forget or we tend to forget what it means to raise up young children. And so when children come to St. John Vianney, know that they are welcome. And children are to be seen and heard. And so when they make noise, just let them be. We leave it to the parents to take care of them. And know that we love young families. And let's also desist from looking, turning around in the directions. Jesus ushered in the kingdom of God. And the kingdom is coming. My dear sisters and brothers, Jesus has already ushered in the reign of God's kingdom. And God's kingdom is coming. And the question today is, are you willing? Are you prepared? Are you ready? The parable of the day reminds us of what you and I have written in stone at St. John Vianney. All are welcome. And that's what the parable says. All are welcome. And that reminds me of the saying of Bishop Fulton Sheen. All are called and many are frozen. I notice that there are three types of people in the gospel of the day. The first type are those who refuse to come. The second type, those that accept the invitation but have not done anything about it and they have not prepared for the wedding. And finally, there is the third type who have accepted the invitation and come dressed for the wedding. And so I ask you, to which category do you belong? I ask myself, to which category do I belong? First of all, there are those who refuse to come. Those who choose to be mired in their own sinfulness, in their own brokenness, in their own weakness. And these are people who refuse to come because they choose and they make a decision to live in their own stubbornness, in their own unwillingness to change. Notice that uh, they are people who are prideful, who are stubborn, and who are unwilling to change. They don't let the grace of God work in them. They are people who choose violence to peace. They are individuals who would opt to be angry rather than forgive. They choose the way of confrontation rather than reconciliation. And they are the people who would hold on to the superiority of a few rather than to the equality of all. They are unjust and they are violent. My dear sisters and brothers, there are also people who refuse to come because they do not choose life. They are not charitable. They don't reach out to the poor, to the marginalized. And that is the first category. People who refuse to come because they opt to be mired in their own sinful ways. The second category, those that say, yes, I'll be there for the wedding. I'm happy to be. And yet, they do nothing 
by way of preparation. And that's what it means to be without the wedding garment. And for us Christians, that wedding garment also takes on another symbolism. The garment that we were vested in at the time of baptism. Do we keep it clean? Do we keep it stainless? Do we take every possible precaution to keep it pure? Do you allow the grace of God to cooperate with you? My dear sisters and brothers, heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. And how prepared are you to meet the Lord? How prepared are you to break bread at the table? How prepared are you to commune with God and with one another? And finally, there is the third category, the category to which you and I should belong. But do we? Those who say yes and come prepared. And so as we go through this Eucharist, let's pray for this grace. You know, we realize that God who fashioned us, who created us, and who sent us into this world without our cooperation will not save us without our cooperation. God always gives out his grace to us, but do we cooperate with that grace of God that is at work in us? Let's pray for this grace that you and I will say, having said yes to the call of God, will prepare ourselves because we know that heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people.